Hey guys, what's happening? So, kind of a bummer, but uh, my Treasure Model T uh, stopped working after a couple months. Um, actually, I made the stand. It's on my Thingiverse page down below. But uh, yeah, I'm the creator designer of that stand. So you saw it in Thingiverse. But uh, yeah, after a couple months, the touch screen stopped working. So I'll show you there in a second. But yeah, the whole return process was weird. Um, yeah, it was out of the actual... Uh, time frame for, for Amazon return but you know when I submitted an RMA request with Trezor they told me to go back to Amazon so it was weird then I had to get on the phone with Amazon and try to talk, tell them what they said and I had to forward the email they sent me but they actually said go through Amazon for an RMA so and they were confused Amazon was confused so weird process so they refunded me they tried to charge me a 30% restocking fee so like a $30 restocking fee because it was actually after after the return date. Yeah, really, really weird. Kind of annoying. Let me show what's actually happening this thing. It's like not completely dead, but the the touch screen um it's just it's unresponsive. Like nothing happens. It's like it's totally dead. You know? So I can't send any crypto because this thing is totally not unresponsive. So I've tried different cables, different everything. So um, yeah, there's no repairing this thing, and, um, I mean, I didn't want to take it apart because it was under warranty still, so, um, I didn't want to sit there and, and mess with it that way, but, uh, there it is, so I got a new one, but yeah, that's what it is, it's totally dead, I mean, it's not totally dead, the USB function doesn't work, so, it, it it's not connected, so, I don't hear, like, the USB, like, when you plug in a USB, you hear that did it, I don't hear that, this thing is just basically totally unresponsive, um, but what's weird, though, is I had originally done like a support request after like it was like, a, like almost less than about two months and then it started working again for like about a week you know so then I actually had to go back and do another support request so but at this point I don't want to deal with it if it's you know I can't if I ever have to actually send crypto I need to be able to send crypto I mean I guess I could always re rebuild my seat on a different device but yeah so now I'm gonna get this one open up I'll show you how it's supposed to function. And get that in there. That's what's supposed to be here, here right there. So at this point, you'd actually plug in your USB and you could go through and do the setup process. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. I mean, if you're actually having the same problem, man, it's. Yeah, this thing was actually out of warranty that I'd probably take it apart and try to fix it, but... Um, yeah, now i got to figure out how to get my... <laughs> cause I, I'm not going to send this back with my private key on it. So, um, i got to find a way to, to swipe it. And what you can do is you can... You're supposed to be able to plug it in. And actually, it's worked one time where you, as you plug it in, you swipe it, and you can do like a factory reset. So, all right. Um, kind of a bummer, but all right, cool.